how living in the Philippines have changed you as a person? Oh, there's been a lot of culture shock, to be honest. I mean, you're just showing good example. And you Naman or na or po. <laughs> Filipinos are one of the most hospitable people you'll ever get to meet. What advice would you give to a foreigner that wants to come to the Philippines? Everyone's so kind and welcoming and warm. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Renee and I'm from India originally. For how long have you been in the Philippines? Six years now. Six, six years? How living in the Philippines have changed you as a person? I think it's exposed me to like a lot of culture. I'm from a very fast-paced community, so I think being here has definitely like calmed me down. And yeah, it's a very good culture to be a part of. Okay, in these six years, have you adapted any Philippines? I mean, any Filipino habit into your daily life? I think I've incorporated a bit of their slang terms or okay. like yeah things like that at the end of my sentences. Can you say any there? <laughs> Naman or na or po and stuff like that, yeah. Okay. And how is your Tagalog so far? I can understand it. I can't speak it. You can't speak yeah. it? Yeah. And any Tagalog word that you can probably teach me? Uh, hapon means afternoon. Afternoon, hapon. And let me ask you, like, like, how is life in the Philippines for foreigners? I think it's really good. There's a lot of really pretty places and beaches to travel to. I love the beach, so it's a perfect country for that. What is your favorite, I mean, beach here in the Philippines? I love Palawan. I love Coron. Oh, Palawan, Coron. Have you been to Siargao? Yeah, no, we were supposed to during the pandemic, but it got canceled, so. Canceled. Okay, so, and any advice would you give to a foreigner that wants to come, I mean, to the Philippines, it's either to visit or even to stay? I think definitely to explore the country. There's so many beautiful places here. You have, like, hills and beaches at the same area. So, yeah, just explore. And the people here are really nice, so. Okay. What do you love the most about the Filipinos? Everyone's so kind and welcoming and warm. Okay. Thank you so much okay. and appreciate for your time. Thank you so much. And guys, I'm here with Tayo is my name. For how long have you been in the Philippines and where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. I've been in the Philippines for about six months now. I came with my wife from Nigeria. Yeah. And how living in the Philippines have changed you as a person? Oh, there's been a lot of culture shock to be honest. Philippines is there's a lot I enjoy, I like about Philippines, but I'll say the very first thing is the people. The people are very kind, very nice, very welcoming. They're just the best. The best. The best. And how often do you get to travel in the Philippines? How often? Okay, so I live in PGC and for the first three, four months, we didn't go anywhere. We we're just trying to settle a new country and all that. But so far, we've been to Tagaytay, we've been to Bulacan, and we're going to more and more places. Laguna, yeah. yeah. Very soon. And just before we go, how easy or how hard is traveling the Philippines without speaking Tagalog? Hmm. Okay, so um, it's a bit difficult outside BGC. It's easier in BGC because most people understand English. So you need to learn how to maybe gesticulate, show them a picture of what you want or what you're talking about. But it's not too hard. It's not too hard. Okay. It's not too hard. And just before we go, you told me that you're a content creator as well, right? Yeah. I mean, what kind of content do you do? And can you please give a shout out to your page? Uh, we do lifestyle, basically. Lifestyle, lifestyle in the Philippines, me and my wife. Okay, so we have a channel called Our Philippines Adventures. So shout out to all my subscribers. Yeah, and um, this is a great, great opportunity to be on Calvin's show. I mean, this dude here is killing the game. He is killing it. So I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate yeah. it. And guys, please don't forget to check his channel on the description below. Yeah. Please support him right now. And he... I have watched his video before, actually, I have watched his video. So please go and support him as well, because he has been supporting us as well. I'm here with... Gail. Alexi. What do you love the most about the Philippines? Okay, so I grew up here, born and raised. What I love the most about it would be the, would be the people. Filipinos are one of the most hospitable people you'll ever get to meet. And of course, they're very, not only are they friendly, not only are they welcoming, but they're also very open to welcoming other people as well and to let them experience their culture. Well, I totally agree with her, but also for me, let's say, we have beautiful spots in here, the natural resources, the beaches, the, the places to visit, there's a lot of festivals and there's just so much to visit, especially the food, Filipino food are good. Can you name any food that maybe the foreigners that are watching right now, <laughs> they would come in the Philippines and try? All right, I think for, for me, my personal favorite mm. is sisig. Sisig is yeah. just so good, so good. And where's the best part to try sisig? 
Oh, there's this restaurant called Manam. That's my favorite right Manam. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Manam, my favorite yeah. right now. So we should yeah. check it out. Check it out. Yeah. Manam, guys, Manam. And just before we go, any advice would you give to a foreigner that wants to come and visit the country? I mean, you know, it, come here and there's so much to do in the Philippines. People are like hospitable, they're nice, welcoming. And just make sure to travel in provinces because there's so much more to see in there than just in Manila. So if you're someone who goes here to, you know, travel, like, try places. Me, I'm from Iloilo, so maybe you should try to check out Iloilo. Iloilo yeah. Good place. I, I haven't been there, but I'm planning to go there. You should go there in January. They have this um, festival, it's Dinagyang Festival. Okay, okay. So it's good. Just good. go there. Let me know. Okay. So you're around. Okay, okay. <laughs> what about you? What advice would you give to a foreigner? Well, besides visiting Manila, Besides visiting the beaches also, yes, I agree with other provinces like Laguna, Iloilo. There's honestly so much, so much things that you can do. And again, Filipinos, we're very hospitable. We're going to welcome you with open, with open arms as well. So just visit more provinces, not just the beaches. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. And see you guys when you have the next person. I Let's go! What's your name and where are you from? I'm Dorian. I'm from Ibro, Poland. Poland? Yeah. And for how long have you been in the Philippines? About one or two weeks, a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. Have you encountered any culture shock when you came here for the first time? Yes, it was. It was culture shock because uh, people there are so kind, very kind. That's why I'm living here. Oh, so like you moved here, like you planning to stay here for long or what? Like for good? I'm planning to stay for long. Oh. Maybe one year, maybe more. Oh, okay. We'll see. Okay. And what did you know about the Philippines before coming here? Uh, where did I know? Yeah. Mm. From internet, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, from Philippines, uh, I heard that uh, in Philippines have good singers. Good singers, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. And have you eaten any Filipino food in these two weeks? Unfortunately, no. No. But I will. Oh, you will. Okay. So I'm gonna give you an advice. Whenever you're looking for food, probably like to start because you don't wanna go super exotic. Maybe you can start with like um, caldereta, it's like a beef. They have like beef caldereta, they have like adobo, I think you have heard about that. And just before we go, any message to the Filipinos watching us right now? Message to the Filipinos, Most, guys? Yes, yes. Just be kind. I love you guys. Filipino guys, the best guys, <laughs> whatever meet. Okay, brother. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate your time, bro. What's your name? My name is Anna. Anna. Anna and Anna? Okay. Where are you guys from? Uh, I'm from Kazakhstan, Russia. Russia. And for how long you guys have been in the Philippines? Uh, it's around two years already. Uh, five months. Five months. How living in the Philippines have changed you as a person? Uh, as a person, uh, I like to say like I become slimmer here okay. because the weather is so hot so I become more to how to say shiny here shiny, yeah okay. about the weather okay. so i just really love follow love with philippines it's a interesting country um and uh, i like travel you, you like to travel yes 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 what is your favorite island or favorite beach in the philippines um i think it's uh, palawan palawan yeah what about you it's bohol bohol yeah okay on your daily basis like have you adapted any habit from the filipinos like since you have been here for like two years. Maybe it's badminton. Oh really? <laughs> yes, I started to play badminton here. <laughs> okay, okay. So just my last question. What advice would you give to a foreigner that wants to come to the Philippines? Um, they have to try bulalo soup. Bula <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's and it should be straight from Tagaytay, right? It's, yeah, it's okay. amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you so much. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Panda. I'm from Poland. Poland? Yeah. For how long have you been in the Philippines? For a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. What did you know about the Philippines before coming here? Well, I know that uh, uh, there are many content creators in mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Quite creative country. And you know, I look into the world from the from TikTok perspective. I know that TikTok is really uh, like in fire in here. So, and that's my curiosity. That's why I'm here because I'm a TikTok creator. Oh, okay. So. Can you give shout out to your page? Yeah, Don Panda. Don Panda dot show. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I I own many TikTok okay. channels. You okay, know. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am the owner of uh, one of the biggest TikTok houses in the world, which is 11 million followings at the moment. 
It's in the United States of America currently. Um, Just uh, mm -hmm. subscribe to Para Family. Okay. That's my main uh, TikTok account, my commercial one. Mm -hmm. And my personal is Don Panda Show. Don Panda Show. Okay. On the description below, guys, you guys definitely need to check. I mean, those channel out. Just before we go, what what was your first impression of the Philippines? Yeah, I mean, look at this BGC. Yeah. Uh, look at this. It's, yeah. it's highly developed city. I mean. It's great. I mean, it's very vibrant, mm -hmm. uh, it's very modern, and it's very, you know, lively, mm -hmm. and I love it. Okay. <laughs> Coming from, you, I mean, from Europe, have you encountered any culture shock when you came here? Well, actually not, not so much, because I used to work with Filipino guys mm -hmm. when I worked for oil and gas on the shelf. I used to be an engineer, okay. working on a shelf in the middle of the sea, the so sea, yeah. I met lots of Filipinos there, so I had a, a little bit of background knowledge about those guys. So prior to, to the Philippines, mm -hmm. I, I asked for advice from them, so, and, I, it just, and they just said me, just go, you will like it. So I love it, and guys... <laughs> are, you, are you located in BGC? Yeah, yeah. Okay. How is BGC, how safe is BGC for foreigners? Well, I mean, it's safe everywhere in here. I mean, because it's not only just about BGC. I've been to Pasig, I've been to Makati, Makati. I've been to Taguig, I've mm -hmm. been to San Jose, I mm -hmm. think so. And I felt my, you know, I look like Filipino, you know, I'm Asian, so I feel comfortable. But as you see from a side, I don't see much of the tension. So people are lovely, very friendly, mm -hmm. helpful. I just love it. Okay. <laughs> and before we go, any message to the Filipinos watching us right now? Guys, rock it. You know, you are a very developing country, growing 8% yearly from GDP perspective. Mm -hmm. So we count on you. I mean, you're just showing good example and you attract many guys like me to come to your country, to contribute what I can and be a part of this big story, you know? Okay, okay brother. Thank you so much. I appreciate for your time, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much, man. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. And if there's a specific topic, let me know in the comments below. Once again, Christmas is on the way and New Year as well. Thank you so much. God bless me. God bless you. God bless us. I'm gone. Nah.